Hello everyone, we are on Mathematics 6 pa rin, quarter 4, week 6 module, but um, it's not actually just week 6, it could cover up 7, 8, and 9, kasi related lang lahat yung apat na modules natin, okay, and it's all about probability. And what is probability? Probability is used to describe how likely or unlikely it is that something will happen. It is the number that we use to describe and express that likelihood. Probability values are always assigned on a scale of 0 to 1. So since it's 0 to 1, um, it could be less than uh, 1 or great, uh, less than 1. So it's less than 1 or greater than 0. Basta hindi lalagpas doon. So since it's less than 1 or more or more uh, probability is less than 1, pwede siyang isulat or pwede siyang ibigay in fraction, decimal, or percent. And a probability near 0 indicates an event is quite unlikely to occur. And a probability near 1 indicates an event is almost certain to occur. Um, explain ko lang to sa mga susunod. Alright. So, probability as a numerical measure. Okay. Ayan. So, ito yung ginagamit natin. This is actually a probability line. And um, kung makikita nyo dito, if it's 0 or 0 0.0 or 0%, the probability is impossible. So, pwede natin sabihin na imposibleng mangyari uh, kapag ang probability niya is zero. Now, if it's uh, one-fourth or 0.25 or 25% unlikely, so malaki ang um, malaki ang chance na hindi mangyari. Okay? Kaya nga unlikely ang tawag dyan. And then, kung nasa gitna, okay, Yun yung tinatawag natin 50-50. Okay? So, um, it could be a, um, written in one half or 0.5 or 50%. And um, when we describe it, pwede mo sabihin that it's likely as unlikely. Or the others would say as likely as not. Others naman would say it has an even chance. And then pwede ring, um, equal chance. Okay, so evenly likely po. Deren, basta um, equal, uh, nasa gitna, 0.5, ba? And then, kung lumagpas naman sa kalahate, it's 3 fourths or 0.75 or 75%, basta lumagpas, okay? Pwede natin yan sabihin as it's likely to happen. And then, kung sigurado tayo, walang ibang choice, talagang mangyayari ang isang event, that is certain and that that is 1 or 100%. Right? Okay, example tayo. Okay. Use impossible, unlikely, evenly likely, likely, certain to answer the following. It will rain tomorrow. Hindi naman tayo expert, so dalawa lang ang pwedeng mangyayari. Diba? Pwedeng uulan, pwedeng aaraw. So since dalawa lang naman ang mangyayari, Kung uulan ba bukas, eh di isa lang sa dalawa. So, yung sagot natin dito is evenly likely kasi uh, pantay yung dalawa. Pwedeng uulan, pwedeng aaraw. Chris Aquino is a celebrity. Sigurado tayo dito, di ba? Walang ibang sagot, kaya certain. When one is lying down, he is sleeping. Now, dito na ngayon tayo magtatalo. Okay? Now, pwede mong sabihin na, ma'am, pagkahihiga, sigurado naman yun, tutulog, di ba? Pero hindi sa lahat ng panahon. Pwede naman nagpahinga lang, di ba? Pero malaki ang chance na kapag hihiga ang tao, malamang matutulog yan. So, since malaki ang chance, pwede mong sabihin na it's likely to happen. Ma'am, if I am going to lie down, most likely, I will be sleeping. Diba? Ganun yun. Okay. When the clouds are dark, it will rain. So, again, ito na naman tayo. So, depende na sa'yo, ano kaya ang dapat na mangyayari dito. Kung sasabihin mong evenly likely, eh, madilim na nga eh. So, kadalasan pag madilim, uulan yan. Diba? So, malaki ang chance na uulan. Kaya lang, there are times na hindi siya uulan, hindi siya tutuloy. Kaya, pwede mong sabihin na likely ulit. Kasi malaki ang chance na uulan. 
Next, a butterfly can fly. Sigurado kayo dyan. Wala namang, uh, walang mag makapagsabi na hindi nakakalipad ang butterfly. So, a butterfly can fly. So, that is certain. Okay? And then, a tiger can fly. Walang pakpak ang tigers. Diba? So, hindi yan mangyayari. So, that is impossible. Alright? And then, forests have trees. Yes, of course. So, that is certain. Okay? So, itong mga words na to, okay, could replace those numerical numbers na one-fourth, one-half, and uh, ginagamit natin ito, lalo na dito sa part na to. Okay? Eh, kung hindi tayo sure, ba? Diba? Pero alam natin na uh, malapit or uh, malaki ang chance na mangyayari. Kaya ginagamit natin yung word na likely, likely. Kung malaki ang chance na mangyayari. Kung uh, imposible namang mangyayari, there's a zero chance kaya imposible ginawa natin. ba? Diba? Kung unlikely naman, okay, um, tulad dito, boys wear skirts. Now, unlikely kaya ito, Yes, no. Bakit hindi mo ilalagay ito as imposible? Kasi, posible magsusuot ng palda ang isang lalaki. Kailan mangyayari yan? Eh, kung may contest, di ba? Or kung nagluloko lang yung lalaki, edi eh, pwede siyang magsuot, di ba? So, there is a possibility na magsusuot nga. At dahil konti lang ang possibility na yon, you would say na unlikely. So, pwede mong sabihin na, ma'am, it is unlikely for a boy to wear a skirt. Diba? Okay. So, itong mga words na to, okay, hindi tayo sigurado. Pero in mathematics, we have to use numbers. Okay. So, paano natin gawin? Tignan natin to ha. Alright. So, probability as a numerical measure. Ito yung ginagamit natin na formula. So, probability or just letter P is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Itong number of favorable outcomes, ito yung gusto mong lumabas, gusto mong mangyari. And then, dito sa baba, possible outcomes, ito ang lahat na pwedeng mangyari. So, paano ba gawin to? Tignan natin with this example. We have here a die. Okay? Kapag isa lang, die ang tawag mo dyan. Kapag dalawa or more, that's dice. Okay. Now, I have here a die and alam natin na ang mga markings dito is 1, so isang dot, merong dalawa, tatlo, apat, hanggang anim. ba? So, when you toss a die, how many possible outcomes are there? So, kapag possible outcomes ang pag-uusapan, eh di yung anim na faces ang pwedeng lumabas, ba? So, yung anim na yon, ito yung ilalagay natin dito. ba? So, number of possible outcomes dito is... 6. Okay? So, when you toss a die, how many possible outcomes are there? So, that there are 6, ba? And then, what is the probability of getting a 1? So, ito ngayon, ang question is the probability of getting a 1. So, that would be, ilan ba ang 1 dito? ba isang face lang naman ang may isang dot, ba? So, isa sa anim. Kaya, ang magiging sagot mo dito ay... 1 out of 6 or 1 6. So, itong 1 dito, number of favorable outcomes, ito yung gustong lumabas. Gusto mong lumabas. So, number 1 yon. Kaya, nilagay mo dyan as 1 6 kasi yung 1 ay isa lang naman sa 6 na pwedeng lumabas. What's the probability of getting a 2? Isa lang din ulit ang 2 dito. So, that is 1 6, ba? The probability, okay, the probability of getting a 3. Isa lang din ulit ang 3 dito. So, that would be 1, 6 ulit. The probability of getting a 4, again, 1, 6 ulit, dahil isa lang naman ang 4. The probability of getting a 9. Now, meron bang 9 dito? Di ba ang pinakamalaki ay 6? So, since wala naman, sagot natin dyan would be 0. Okay? The probability of getting an even number. O, oh, eto, marami na dapat ang numbers dito. Kasi, ang even numbers are 2, 4, and 6. Di ba? So, tatlo sa anim. So, ang sagot natin dito is 3 out of 6. And then, since naka-fraction ito, i-reduce dapat natin in lowest term. So, this is 1 half. So, final answer mo dapat is 1 half. Now, there are times kung may choices na binibigay, hindi na ito binibigay ha. Diretso na ito ang sagot. Okay? 
right let's have another example this time we have a spinner okay when you spin a wheel what is the probability of getting or or probability of the following to happen so your spinner natin ay may red orange purple yellow and green color so limang colors so ano yung probability of the following one the probability of getting a red so ang red dito ay isa lang sa lima kasi limang colors to di ba so ang sagot natin would be one out of five the probability of getting an orange again isa lang ang orange dito so ang sagot natin is one out of five the probability of getting a green again isa lang ang green so that is one out of five probability of getting a black eh, wala namang black dyan. Ayan, diba? So, dapat ang sagot natin dyan is zero. Diba? Kung, kung words pa ang ginamit natin dyan, ang sagot natin, natin dapat dyan is impossible. Impossible dahil walang black dyan eh. Diba? Now, next we have the probability of getting or of not getting a white. Eh, wala namang white dyan. Diba? So, sigurado ka ang lalabas ay hindi white. Kaya, ang sagot mo dapat dyan ay one. It's actually 5 over 5 or just 1. Kaya nga in probability, 1 ang pinakamataas kasi 100% yan. So, 5 sa 5. So, lahat na. Diba? And then, not yellow. May yellow tayo dito. So, ano yung hindi yellow? You have 1, 2, 3, 4. E di apat sa limang lahat na ulay. So, that is 4 out of 5 or 4 fifth. Then, the probability of getting a primary color. So, primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Now, walang blue dyan. So, red and yellow lang ang nandyan. So, the primary colors there is 2 out of 5 colors. And then, the probability of getting a secondary color. Ang secondary color natin dito ay green, orange, at saka purple. So, that is 3 out of 5. Right? Another example, a basket contains 4 mangoes, 5 avocados, 10 bananas, and 6 oranges. If only one fruit is drawn from the basket, find the probability of the following. Okay, so the probability of getting a banana. So, ilan ba yung bananas dito? Sampo, di ba? Pero ilan ba lahat ang fruits na, 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 na nasa loob ng basket? We have 4 at 5, 9. Plus 10, that's 19. Plus 6, that is 25. So, since sampo ang bananas, that would be 10 out of 25. And then, reduce natin the lowest term. Divided by 5, merong dalawa. Dito, divided by 5, merong lima. So, this is 2 feet, right? The probability of getting an avocado. So, meron tayong limang avocado. So, that would be 5 out of 25. And then, reducing to lowest term, divide natin by 5. This is 1. Divided by 5, this is 5. Kasi may limang 5 dito, di ba? So, this is 1 fifth. The probability of getting or not getting a mango. So, hindi daw mango. So, ang mango natin dito ay apat. So, ibig sabihin, sa 25 na fruits, ang mango ay apat, edi ang hindi mango ay 21. So, ang sagot natin dyan, dahil hindi mango ang hinahanap, that would be 21 out of 25. So, hindi na natin ito i-reduce kasi hindi na pwedeng i-reduce yan. Okay? Now, next, we have the probability of getting mangoes. So, ilan ba yung mangoes natin dito? Apat. So, ang mangoes ay apat. So, mangoes lang naman ang uh, gustong kuhanin, edi eh, apat lang, apat out of 24. Next is we have orange. The probability of getting an orange, okay, that would be 6 out of 25 kasi anim yung oranges dyan, ba? And then apple, eh walang apple dyan, ba? So, this is 0. Grapes, again, walang grapes dyan. So, this is 0, Okay. And then, not apple. Eh, lahat ng ito ay hindi apple. So, ang probability natin dyan is 1. Certainly, hindi apple ang makukuha mo. Possible outcomes. 
Okay, if you have uh, a coin, if you're going to toss a coin, ang possible outcome natin dyan ay dalawa lang, di ba? So, when you get the probability of an event to happen, di ba, ang ilagay mo lang yan as possible outcome sa baba. Sa, kasi sa baba ang ano possible outcome, di ba? Dalawa lang, kasi pwede lang yan ay head or tail, di ba? Kaya lang, if you're going to get a combination of two events, so mag-toss ka ng coin and then mag-spin ng wheel, marami na ang possible outcomes niyan. Okay? So, let's check this example. Adrian will toss a coin and spin a wheel. How many possible outcomes are there? What is the probability that he will get a head and a five? So, paano natin malaman lahat ng possible outcomes? Um, one method to do it is through listing method. And then, pwedeng lumabas dito ang head, di ba? And then, head can have a partner of one, di ba? Pwede ring head two, pwede ring head three, pwede ring head four, head five, and then head six, di ba? And then, kung ang lalabas naman dito is tail, pwede ring ma-partner ang tail with one, and then you have two, t3, t4, t5, and t6. Kung bibilangin mo, you have 6 dito, 6 dito, and you have a total of 12 possible outcomes. So, hindi na yun pwedeng bibilangin mo lang, di ba? Kasi, 12 ang lumabas, eh, kailangan mo siyang i-partner-partner kasi, di ba? Now, another method to do it para malaman yung possible outcome is through a tree diagram. So, we start with Adrian. So, si Adrian, nag-toss ng coin. So, dalawa lang ang pwede lumabas. Either head or tail, di ba? And then, yung head ay pwedeng ma-partner sa anin. Di ba? Kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, yung tail ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, ang pwedeng partner. So, ang head can be with 1. Pwede with head 2, head 3, head 4, head H5, H6. And then, tail 1, tail 2, tail 3, tail 4, tail 5, tail 6. Kung titignan mo, pareho lang ang lumabas dito, di ba? Um, eto mas madaling, uh, mas, mas, mas malinis ang pagsulat mo kasi ililista mo lang. Ito, magdodrawing ka ng trade diagram, di ba? Pero, pareho lang ang kalabasan, okay? Um, kaya lang, is there a... Uh, much easier way, systematic way, na para kuhanin ang possible outcomes. Yes, meron. Ayan, ito yung fundamental principle of counting. It says here, if you have A ways of doing one or event one, B ways of doing event two, and C ways of doing event three, then you can find the total number of possible outcomes by multiplying A times B times C. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung meron ka daw, let's say, sampung paraan para lumabas yung isang event. And then let's say dito, let's say 20, and then let's say 30. Ita times mo lang daw lahat yan. Diba? So, ita times mo lang yan. And so on kung dadami yung combination, ita times mo lang lahat yan. And, tignan natin with our example, pero yung example natin earlier ay dalawa lang, di ba? Ayan, ito yung example natin. So, Adrian will toss a coin and spin a wheel. How many possible outcomes are there? What is the probability that he will get a head and five? Right? So, tignan natin. Kung lalabas yung kanina, di ba 12 yung sagot natin kanina? For the possible outcomes lang, ha? Hindi pa natin nasagutan itong isang question. Ayan. So, ayan na yung uh, coin and then spinner. Right? So, kung gagamitan natin ito, okay, possible outcomes is just 2 times 6. Kasi dalawa dito ang pwede lumabas. I-times mo dito sa 6. So, you have 2 times 6 and that is 12 outcomes. And tama nga. Kasi 12 yung binilang natin kanina, di ba? Yung mga head 1, head 2, head 3 hanggang head 6, ba And then, tail 1 hanggang tail, tail 6 din, ba So, 12 outcomes. So, eto yung pinakamadali. Imumultiply mo lang pala. Kuha mo na. Okay? And then, nasagutan na ba natin yung pangalawang question na what is the probability, probability that he will get a head and a 5? Hindi pa. So, the probability of getting head and 5 ay isa lang combination yun, ba 
yung lalabas sa coin is head tapos dito ay 5 so isang combination lang yun so ibig sabihin ang probability niyan is just 1 out of 12 kasi isa lang isa lang siya sa 12 combinations na pwedeng lumabas di ba let's have another example Norma's restaurant offers for breakfast the following We have juices, cereals, okay? And for juices, meron siyang orange, apple, and tomato. And then for cereals, merong oat bran with flakes and corn flakes. How many different choices of juice and cereal can you make for breakfast? So, nandito sa question, how many different choices? So, ibig sabihin, ang kukuhanin natin dito pala is possible outcomes. Ayan. So, possible choices or possible outcomes, tatlo dito, tatlo dito, eh di, 3 times 3 lang yan. And then, you have 9 different choices. Then, question number 2, what is the probability that your choice will be orange juice and cornflakes? Orange and cornflakes. Isang combination lang yan, di ba? In 9 yung different choices natin. So, pwede mong sabihin na the probability of getting an orange and cornflakes is 1 out of 9. Okay? Right? Right? Experimental probability versus theoretical probability. Ano ba yung kaibahan? Okay. Tignan natin ha. Experimental probability is found by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. Pero yung theoretical naman is what is expected to happen based on mathematics. So, example dito is the tossing of coin. Okay, so, ilan ba ang pwedeng lumabas in a coin? Alright, so, di ba? Ayan, ito yung coin. Di ba dalawa lang ang pwedeng lumabas? Pwedeng head or tail. At dahil dalawa lang, yung possible outcomes natin is 2. Yeah, ito yun. So, yung ginawa natin earlier, na tossing of coins, at saka yung possible outcome, sinundan natin ang theoretical probability. At dahil dalawa lang ang pwedeng lumabas, kaya 2 ang nasa denominator. ba? Now, anong kaibahan niyan dito sa experimental probability? Now, Kahit na dalawang beses lang, o dalawa lang ang pwedeng lumabas dito, kaya lang, kung uulit-ulitin mo siya, kasi experiment ang ginawa mo, hindi ka na magbe-base doon sa dalawang um, possible outcomes niya, which is head or tail, ang total number of trials mo na ang nasa denominator mo dapat, and then dito sa taas is yung event na gusto mong lumabas kung Ilang beses lumabas ang head, ilang beses lumabas ang tail. So, tulad ng, ng example na ito, sinabi dito, a coin is tossed 10 times. So, a head is recorded 7 times and a tail is recorded 3 times. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, for an event, which is the head, you know, the probability of getting a head is ilagay mo yung 7 times na lumabas siya out of 10 trials. And then, uh, probability naman of getting a tail, ilagay mo yung 3 times na lumabas yung tail out of 10 trials. Okay? So, hindi mo na gagamitin yung 2. The number of trials na ang gagamitin mo dyan. Alright? So, sana naintindihan na. Let's have an example. Alright? So, let's have this example. A spinner has 3 unequal sections. Red, yellow, and blue. The table shows the results of Nolan spins. Find the experimental probability of landing 1, a blue color. Now, balikan muna natin dito. Ito yung uh, result. Okay? So, the frequency of um, red is 10. Sampung beses lumabas ang red. Diba? Nung nag-spin siya. And then, ang yellow ay 14. And then, yung blue ay 6. So, ibig sabihin... Ang yung number of trials are i-add natin ito you have 10 14 24 plus 6 is 30. So total trials is 30, di ba? So kung kukuhanin natin yung probability of getting a blue, so that would be probability of getting a blue is 6 out of 30. Di ba? And then reducing to lowest term, divide natin ito by 6, may isa. Ito may limang 6. So this is 
150. All right? Number two, a yellow color. The probability of getting a yellow is 14 out of 30. Diba? And then reducing the lowest term again, divided by 2, kasi 2 lang ang pwede sa dalawa. Divided by 2, this is 7. Divided by 2, this is 15. So, ang sagot natin is 7 over 15. Next one, we have a red color. The probability of getting a red is 10 out of 30. Diba? So, you have there 10 out of 30. And then, reducing to lowest term, cancel mo lang yung 0 dyan, no? Divide by 10 or cancel yung 0. This is 1 third. And then we have the probability of getting not blue. So that would be, so lahat na hindi blue, ito lang naman dalawa, di ba? So that is 10 and 14, total of 24. Kasi tanggalin lang yung blue, kasi not blue, di ba? So this is 24 over 30. And then divide by 6, meron dito ang 4. Divide by 6, meron 5. So this is just 4 fifth. Now, tandaan ha, probabilities can be written in decimals as well kasi fraction ito, di ba? Ang fraction can be written in decimal and in percentage. So, pwedeng um, fraction, pwedeng decimal, pwedeng percentage. So, if ever the question asked for the uh, percentage, di ibigay mong sagot is percentage. If it's not asking for percentage, uh, pwede na ito. Kaya lang dapat yung sagot mo ay yung lowest term kasi kung sakaling may exam, okay, Walang lalabas na sagot na ito. Okay? Wala. Ito, ito lagi ang lumalabas na sagot. Kaya, hindi niyo makikita yung sagot kung ang hinahanap yung sagot ay ito. Okay? Kung lalabas man yung ganito, bihira. Alright? So, sana naintindihan. And then, let's have another one. A secondary color. So, ano ba yung secondary color dyan? Eh, kung titignan mo, red, yellow, and blue, lahat ito are primary colors. Primary colors tong tatlo, di ba? Itong tatlo lang naman ang primary colors. So, the probability of getting a secondary color is zero. Kasi wala naman dito eh. Di ba? 